Hey guys, welcome to another Top Drive video. This is part two of Touring Italy in the Yellowbird series. Uh, and this will probably be the last one for a little while. Uh, obviously I've now re-gone through the whole lot and completed it again. <coughs> um, but to make the full part of the last one, uh, it's going to take a lot of renown. I have already made the video once. I know there has been some changes uh, since the original video was made. Uh, but I'm hoping that it might just help you still. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they do release another update with more single player content in regards to another Yellowbird series sort of uh, soon. So I am trying to keep a bit of renown back for that. Uh, but I'm also getting to the point where my renown is full again. So I'm going to have to at some point um, use it again. So I'm going to have to try and get some more ultra food. Uh, so round seven. I know we didn't tell you about the card in the first one. But my builds are normally always 3-2-3. Three, three, apart from drag cars. So as you can imagine the Alpha and the Lambo here. They're both built 3-3-2 three, three, and then the rest are 3-2-3. Three, two, three. And at this point, you're wanting five super rares. And to be fair, they don't really use anything um, fully maxed in this Yellowbird series. I have noticed that. There's partly maxed and... and and stuff like that so it definitely gives you more of an op opportunity to beat the rounds so round eight you are required uh, one ultra rare performance obviously five italian cars and you've got enough rq to play with here to put two ultra rares and three super rares if you really need to uh, so the d tomaso three two three Uh, and then you're going to want a medium ride height, but remember that the the a bath here was actually dropped from a super rare at medium ride height to a rare at low ride height. So you do get a bit of an advantage on there, especially if you are using something four wheel drive or standard tyres with medium ride height. Um, and the rest of the cars are all built 323. Three. And to be fair, you could use a Maserati Bora at 323 three or something like that to beat that round. That's really not. I just used up the RQ. Uh, round 9, you are required two ultra rare performance again. So my two ultra rares here are the Maserati Birdcage and the. The other Maserati, the Gran Turismo, I think it is. So the bird cage is built 323. Three. And then the Gran Turismo is also 323. Three. But again, you could use the bird cage and this Lamborghini and, and you'd, you'd still get through. Uh, the Abarth 323. Three. And then I've used the Galibi um, 3.3.2 and the Maserati Carmen 3.3.2. Both these will save you some RQ. And then the final round, round 10. You're looking at Italian cars times 5 with ultra rare performance times 3. So I've stayed with the birdcage. 
Um, and then I've brought back the Miura and the Alpha. And then I've gone with the Di Tommaso at 233. Same bird cage at 323. But again, if you've got that Lamborghini, that will do the job. Anything that's going to be 88 handling, really, for um, the G Force test will be fine. And then I've gone with the Tipo here, the same car as them, and that's also built 323. And then finally, the Alpha at 332. And plenty of RQ to play with, plenty of choice of cars. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time for another video. Bye bye.